Foundation. This is my little show, All The Things. Let's dive right in. We are talking about triggers. So whatever name you give it, self-improvement, personal growth, etc. This process does not magically cure all triggers. Yes, that's right, my friend. Growth does not mean a lack of a trigger. Instead, it looks like an altered reaction to the trigger, a change of behavior, a lessening of a reaction. Let me clarify what I mean by trigger. Social media posts can be triggers. Obviously, a lot of people know that. Certain people can be triggers. When someone rubs you the wrong way, they might cause an emotional response within you that's agitation, okay? So, certain people can be triggers. Certain kinds of entertainment, television shows definitely evoke an emotional reaction that can take you to a place reminding you of something that you've been through and experienced before. And songs can absolutely do that. And any, any, any situation involving PTSD, post-traumatic stress has its own set of triggers. And you don't just, you don't have to have post-traumatic stress to have triggers, but PTSD triggers, totally different. Now, since I'm making this a real quick episode, let's look at a timeline real quick because I absolutely love timelines. Let's start with the moment, the instance of the trigger to the moment of emotional equilibrium or when you even back out slash feel more okay. So we're going to take these two points on this timeline, the instance of the trigger and our emotional equilibrium. We're going to call this time in between our turnaround time. This is where it gets good. This is where personal growth becomes more obvious. And as you heal, improve, glow up, whatevs, your turnaround time becomes shorter and shorter. The severity of your reactions, the behavior response, to the trigger it becomes less and less severe. This is where you really start to see that you're you're healing. This is the crucial moment. So if you're upset that you're being triggered by something still, you're missing out on all your growth because you're focusing on the wrong thing. Let's look instead at how fast we get back to okay. How fast we get back to emotional equilibrium and how much less our emotions are involved in the trigger, how much less that behavioral response takes over. And this is the point where I just have to remind you that growth without conflict, friction, or pressure is rare. I'm gonna say that one more time. It's hard to grow if you're not facing some sort of conflict or pressure. Another reminder, pain, it's an unavoidable part of life. And a trigger is just super concentrated pain. So if you think about yourself as the author of your life story, you're the narr you're writing this narrative here, right? Then maybe you choose or consider making it French themed because the French see a certain beauty in pain, right? And that's just helpful to be able to find something useful out of our painful experiences, especially ones that are so strong, it causes us to react or to be triggered. Make overcoming your trigger your chance to be the hero of your story because what hero hasn't faced some kind of adversity, okay? Let's just be honest, that's what heroes do. And you're definitely up there, darling. So keep going, don't give up, don't be bummed that you're still triggered by things. Now. I want to mention I've got a great freebie coming out. I don't want you to miss these freebies and these tips that are really geared towards healing and progressing past some of our triggers. So we're gonna be looking at things like confidence, we're going to be looking at procrastination, motivation, and boundaries. And the reason I chose these four things because they are the four things my clients struggle with the most. So why not talk about those at the very beginning of our year? There you go. I hope that helps. Have a great day. Bye-bye.